Praise the Lord. We're back. I don't look just everything froze up. I tell you, the enemy does not want this word to get out to the people's hearts and minds. He does not want you to understand what he's talking about in this last day. He does not want you to get a hold of the mandate that he has placed, that God is placing upon the hearts and upon the lives of his children. It's important that you grab a hold of this. It's vitally important to your walk and relationship in God that you get a hold of this concept and this word of wisdom Wisdom, because God is wanting to elevate you. God is preparing you to take it to the next level. God is preparing you that you can walk into the next level. A plateau. Oh my God. Hallelujah. And God is walking with us in this hour and God is taking us to where we can identify and acknowledge all the glory of God in the situation of life that we coexist in. Hallelujah. I need to stop, not look at the things around me, but I need to learn how to identify the glory of God in every situation that I'm in and let God manifest his glory in the house. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, friend, hallelujah, I have never felt something more strong in my life than I feel about this. God's people need to identify the mandate of the Holy Ghost. God's people need to identify the call and begin to respond to the call of God that he has upon our lives. Hallelujah. Let's get rid of that nuthead. Hallelujah. God needs to do, begin to walk in the glory of God in our lives. And we need to allow God to move in this day. I charge the demonic forces. You're a liar. And I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I bring a silence to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, folks, uh, we need to get real. Uh, we need to hear what God is doing in this day. Uh, we need to hear the power of God in the lives of the church. Uh, we need to begin to see the glory of the, the Lord uh, in each and every one of our lives. Uh, and we need to allow God to manifest. Uh, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Uh, if any man uh, hears my voice uh, and will open the door. He said, if any man, we need to hear the voice of God. We need to see the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Demonstrate and manifest in the house. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I believe this like I've never believed anything. We need to change things. We need to hear the glory of God. Walk and move in the lives of, 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 of his people. We need to respond to the mandate. We need to respond today to the mandate that the Holy Ghost is placing upon the body of Christ. The mandate of, of walking victoriously, the mandate to walk as an overcomer, the mandate to walk as more than a conqueror. It's important, my friend, hear, hear, but see the mandate of the glory of God. It don't matter the situation you're in. It don't matter what you're dealing with today. It is all that matters is you can identify the glory of God in the situation. You can identify the glory of God in whatever situation you are encountering in your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm excited. You know, it don't matter. All these nuts on Periscope. Hallelujah. Uh, they just, they have no idea. They just, yeah, you know, they're reprobates. Hallelujah. They're reprobates. And, and their education probably isn't enough to understand what that even means. But you know what? I'm, I don't need, I don't deal with them. I don't humor them. Hallelujah. We mark them as, as nuts and we get on, get them on their way. Hallelujah. We move them on out their way. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and that's, that's, that's the bottom line. Amen. I, I'm excited. I'm blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like you, uh, Check, check us out, Liberty Ministry, uh, 
warriors at yahoo give us an email let us know and i will give you a link to everything everything that you you need to hear everything all my blogs my twitter my instagram everything i will give you a link hallelujah praise the lord and i promise you god will bless you amen god will bless you hallelujah i am blessed anybody have you have any questions for me god bless you from honduras amen hallelujah no we're not in spanish any questions for me today? Any Anything that you'd like to question me or ask me? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you're not going to put uh, English up there or whatever, I'm just going to block you because I, I'm not going to deal with all that mumble jumble. Hallelujah. And, and we just kind of get rid of these this mess. Hallelujah. Anybody got any questions? Thank you. Love your talks. Appreciate it. Hi. Hi. God bless you. Anybody got anything they'd like to ask Dr. Smith today? Are you from Hawaii? Aloha. Amen. Let's get rid of that one. We don't need that one. The only one that needs to tell me that is my wife. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anybody have anything they'd like to ask me or anything they'd like to share with me? Amen. And and, and let's get on. God bless you. I appreciate that, sister. I thank you so much. You have church in the springs? No, I don't. No, I don't. I, I, I preach in the springs from time to time, but no, I do not have a church in Colorado Springs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Anything have any, anybody have anything? I'm just going through some of these uh, nuts and, and getting rid of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just who will you vote for? It's none of your business. Hallelujah. Let, let's just uh, start eliminating people. Can I have your IP address? No, you cannot. Uh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Nobody have anything for me? Nobody have anything for me? Hey, man, let's just, I'm just going through these and I'm just ending them. I'm helping them out so they don't get themselves in trouble. I just end their block there so they can't even come on and bother us. Hey, Amen. Praise the Lord. Anybody have any comments, any questions they'd like to share with us? Hallelujah. No questions for Dr. Smith. Amen. Hallelujah. Where are you from? 79585416. Where are you from? Is Sister Janet Hasty still on with us? Yes, where are you from? Thank you, Sister Janet. Thank you very much. Block that. Some people have no reverence, no respect. I'm in Denver. God bless you. I preach in Denver from time to time also. I have a daughter and son-in-law and some grandchildren live in the Denver area. God bless you from Turkey. Good to have you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. How's the weather in Lake Charles today? I'm in Pueblo. Pueblo, Colorado. Praise the Lord. I'm in Pueblo, Colorado. Anybody else? I'm going to log off if nobody has anything they want to talk about. Anything you want to add to what I was talking about? Cold. It's 29 degrees on the East Coast. Wow. Well, it's 47 here. You keep that 29 degrees. Where at on the East Coast are you at? I preach all over in Denver. I preach all over New Jersey. Do you pastor in New Jersey? Do you attend a church in New, New Jersey? Do you attend a church in New Jersey? Do 
Hey, man, if you will email me, I will send you a link to my YouTube channel and stuff. And please have your pastor watch it. And uh, as long as we are confirmed by him, we'd love to schedule with his church and come to him for a revival, a conference, whatever he feels uh, would be most beneficial to the church at the, in that season. If you will follow me, I will uh, I will let you know on uh, Periscope the next time I'm in the Denver area, and you can come see us live. Amen. Anybody else? Yes, are you fall? Are you one of the followers of uh, me on here on Periscope? If you'll follow me, uh, if you'll send me an email, I'll give you a link to, and and I will send you a direct email and let you know uh, when we're coming to Denver. How Liberty Ministry Warriors at Yahoo, Liberty Ministry Warriors at Yahoo. We would love to send you links that way. Uh, we can uh, send you all our links, and it's on our website, everything, when, when, wherever we're going to be. And you can surely catch us. Facebook, you can follow us on Facebook. Hallelujah. I, I appreciate the compliment about your eyes being open. The Bible is really a very simple book. It's the world has made it complicated. The world has made it complicated. Okay, all right. And uh, yeah, if you'll send me an email, I, I will get you a link. Uh, and then we can communicate back and forth. And, and uh, we can definitely let you know when we're coming to the Denver area. We are in the last days. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I noticed, uh, I guess it's keyboard. Do you play piano? It's kind of hard to see with some of the glare, but... Awesome. I love good piano playing. Awesome. Awesome. That is great. Are you on the praise and worship team there in Denver? Evelina, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Praise the Lord. That's great. That is great. Yeah, we would love to let you know when we're coming to the Denver area. And... Uh, Stay in contact with you. Amen. Stay in contact. Praise the Lord. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Anybody have anything they'd like to ask me? Maybe a scripture that's bothered you or uh, heard something you heard on Periscope. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I started to say something yesterday and the, the Lord checked me. But uh, I tell you... I'm very alarmed because you hear so much about the prophetic here on Periscope. You know, everybody's a prophet or a prophet. Everybody on Periscope is. And and we hear very little about just the Word of God. You know, study the Bible, understanding the Word of God, get into the Word of God, be part of the Word of God. David said his word that I hid in my heart. It's important. And, and we hear a lot of other stuff. And, and I'm here to tell you something. Uh, we need to get in and, and, and we need to hear uh, more about the Word of God. We need to understand the Word of God. And, uh, and that's really important. You know, uh, personally, I don't, I don't need anybody prophesying to me. I need knowledge of the word of God. I need to, I need to walk into a full understanding of the word of God. Let's get rid of that nut. Don't have no reverence or decency. We just show him where he belongs real quick. Hallelujah. Uh, and, and, 
And the, you said it right there. The word is the most sure word of prophecy. And don't be a prophetic seeker. Don't go from church to church, revival to revival, seeking somebody to, to lay their hand on you and say, thus saith the Lord. Go to the word of God. The word of God is the best roadmap and direction to, to walk as a Christian victoriously and make heaven than anything. No man can give you the counsel that the word of God, you know, and I, I do a teaching. If you look at the Old Testament prophets, they prophesied structure. They prophesied uh, discipline. They pro they prophesied. Yeah, but you got prophets now. They're prophesying cars and trucks and gold teeth. And they're prophesying everything from A to Z. And, and I'm like, wait a minute. You know, we need to be real. We need to get into this thing. The Bible said prophecies are going to fail. And you do not want to base your walk with God upon the prophetic ministry. I believe in it. Don't get me wrong. I believe in it 100%. But I don't think that it should be the foundation of your relationship with God. I don't think it should be the focus of your relationship. I believe we need a, a real understanding and knowledge of the Word of God. And that's why I'm a word person. Uh, some people like it. Some people don't. But Dr. Smith, I'm a word person. Uh, you hear me teach. I'm going to deal with words. I'm going to deal with the word of God. I'm going to, my mandate that God's put upon my life is to take people to a whole new level of understanding of the word of God. And it, what it does it is is it solidifies their relationship with God, and and that's 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 all I'm about. I'm a I'm about a word person, and I believe that's vital. And I believe we're missing that in the church. The Bible said there's not a famine of bread or water, but of hearing, but hearing the word of the Lord. And I I truly I'm seeing that. In 2016, as we are five days, we have a famine of hearing the word of the Lord. This is why I am so upbeat about Pastor Scott Kilborn and, and Pastor Jackie, because they give you relevant teaching today with the word of God. Implement the word of God in your life. And, and, and I don't surround myself. I don't deal with a lot of people. But I'll tell you, these are two men that will will give you relevant teaching. You need to follow both of them. Pastor Jackie and Pastor Scott Kilborn will bless your heart. I promise you, you will be blessed by these men of God. Amen. And we would love, again, I used to tell everybody and we didn't hear nothing from nobody. We'd love to come to your city. We would absolutely love to come to your city. We are booking for the this year right now. And we would love to come to your city. Get a hold of us. Let's make this happen. And let's you lock us down to a date on the calendar and let's make it happen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anybody have anything? I'm going to wait just a few more moments and then I'm going to uh, log out of here and go about my day. Amen. And we'll see everybody at 6.30 p.m. Mountain, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time tonight here at the Warriors Broadcast. Amen. That's right. That's right. We should be a hunger. We must be grounded in the word. That's right. Amen. That is so right. You should read the Quran. No, I should not read the Quran. What I should do is block you because you don't have any idea. Uh, amen. We, we need uh, the Bible. David said, his word hath I hid in my heart. And it said, I meditate upon it day and night. Amen. Praise the Lord. He said, I sent my word and healed them of their destructions. Hallelujah. So it's the word of God. It's, it's not a, it's not a, a prophecy. It's